And welcome back to Africa 54. Here's what's trending. Meet Volcari, a humanoid robot created by NASA. NASA originally designed Volcari, who's nicknamed Val, several years ago to compete in the disaster relief robotics contest hosted by the U.S. military's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Now the space agency is looking for outside expertise to craft her into a kind of space mechanic. NASA hopes that robots like Val could be pioneers in the colonization of Mars as part of an advanced construction team that sets up habitat for human explorers. Val is still finding her feet, but she has time. He is still another two dec decades before NASA aims to land humans on Mars in the mid-2030s. Next up, at 5 foot 10, 19-year-old Magnolia Memuru is every bit a modern-day beauty queen. She also, she's also the Northern Territory of Australia's first representative in the Miss World pageant, a feat she hopes will attract modeling scouts. Memuru spent a lot of her childhood fishing and hunting. She got her big break in the beauty world last year. This has led her to fronting the Northern Territory's fashion festival. Memuru's emergence as a Miss World representative comes at a time when competitions for indigenous models are cropping up. The national competition is in July. And finally, the Chinese city of Shenzhen is the world's electronics manufacturing capital. So what better place to be for entrepreneurs with ideas they want to turn into actual devices. Stairs present a difficult challenge for the most robots, but not the Rovenza robot. The Swiss startup remotely operated rover is meant for use in disaster areas inaccessible due to contamination and rough terrain. Ping pong enthusiasts came up with this table tennis training machine, and it's about the size of a large pineapple and can be programmed via smartphone to fire balls at specific areas and give them certain spins. Hungry? Live-in Farms founders are marketing mealworms as a healthy, sustainable and versatile food option. And that's what's trending today.